Hi, welcome back to the NCTV editing tutorial, um, part two, where we're going to go over just the basic layout and tools um, that you'll see in Premiere. Um, and in order just to show some of these things, I'm just going to drag in a second clip here, um, even though it's not going to be synced or anything like that. But you'll see when I drag it in, uh, it's that blue color, and I don't want to drop it over my other clip because it's going to delete it. So I'm lifting it up and I just, there we go. That's the first time that it's not going to override something and I'm just going to do that. Um, disregard these audio gaps, we'll address those later. Um, but just now you can see that we have a, uh, a close up that we can work with so that you can see the different effects as we apply them. So, um, you know, this is your preview monitor where you can edit individual clips. So every time I click something, double click something, it pops up and uh, you know I can edit on on an individual clip basis. Um, over here is our viewer. So um, this is exactly what you're outputting uh, your final project will look like. So this is kind of like once you export it, what you'll see. Um, and you know this is your timeline with your time code of how much how much time has passed um, and you know you're, uh, you've already seen your bin with your media and your sequence settings and then you'll see on your right over here this audio meter which will give you your levels. Um, the basic tools that we're going to go over today are your selection tool, uh, your blade tool or your razor tool and your zooming. Uh, we'll get into the other tools in later tutorials, but for now we're just going to start with these. So your arrow tool uh, works the way a mouse works, and you can click things and drag them and, um, you know, select things without making uh, any cuts or anything like that to your, to your project. So absolutely essential. Um, the hotkey for that is V, um, and, you know, constantly using the arrow tool. Um, the blade tool is the most basic editing tool. Uh, even if you think back to editing on film, um, you know, cutting something and moving it is the basis of all editing. So um, if I just, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and I'm just going to click right here. And you'll see that it created a divide. Um, and I'm still on my razor tool here, um, which is C, by the way. Um, and I'm going to go back by pressing V, I'm back on my arrows, and now I can, I've separated my clip so that I can move it. And, um, you know, you can use your imagination of how useful that can be. Um, if you just want to make changes to one thing, um, if you want to just move it in time, if you want to, anything. I mean, it's, razor blade cutting tool is extremely valuable. Now I'm just going to undo that with Command Z, um, which, is arguably even more important than the blade tool because if you make a mistake, you can instantly delete it. Uh, Premiere has, it can remember a lot. So if you, even if you make a few mistakes in a row, if you press Command Z a few times, you can get back to where you were. Um, and then um, we're gonna get just to the zoom tool. So you'll see there's a plus on it and it's uh, the hotkey for it is Z. Um, there's a plus, you know, click and it zooms in. If I hold Alt Option, click and it zooms out. But an even better way in Premiere is to use the plus and minus on your keyboard. So plus zooms into your playhead, minus, oh, it auto-saved, brings you out. Um, and so wherever you put your playhead, if you press plus, you'll zoom in, minus, zoom out. Um, so yeah, so the reason that the close-up is above our... Um, our wide shot here is because it's higher up on the video channel. I'm just getting back to my arrow tool. It's uh, on video three um, as opposed to video one. So whatever video is higher is going to show. Um, and uh, as for audio, it, it will play everything equally. So just something to know, whatever video layer is on top will be what you see. Um, that's it for now. Uh, we're going to get more in depth as we go, but we want to do this on a step-by-step -step basis. So um, that's the basic layout of Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud, and uh, hopefully you'll tune back in for our next tutorial, and uh, we'll take it a little further. Thanks.